Saxophyllum barbari is commonly known as Java moss and is one of the easiest to propagate and popular mosses used in the hobby. It originates from Asia and can be found growing in high humidity along riverbanks. There is some confusion over the common name, with the original Java moss being identified as Vesicularia dubiana, which is not so easy to propagate. Some sources refer to Taxophyllum barbari as Bogle moss. Taxophyllum barbari is supplied in portions and 1-2 grow cups grown in Tropica's state-of-the-art greenhouses and laboratories in Denmark. It is also supplied in our aqua decor range, readily attached to lava stone, giving instant impact to any aquascape. It's in Tropica's easy category and does not require high levels of lighting, seed to injection or nutrients to grow successfully, making it suitable for all levels of hobbyist and aquarium system. Remove the plant from the pot or packaging and rinse off any growth media if using the 1-2 grow cups. Split the moss into small, thin layers. Attach the thin layers of moss to your wood or rock using fishing line, cotton thread or super glue. Taxophyllum barbari does best attach to wood or rock but can also be used as a carpet along the bottom of the aquarium. It adds a sense of maturity to an aquascape, especially when attached to wood that helps give the impression of a woodland scene or ancient forest. It does well towards the surface of the aquarium where lighting is more intense as well as shaded areas. It's best used in thin layers when initially planting to avoid die off from moss underneath that isn't exposed to light or circulating water and nutrients. It's often used in large portions to help breed various fish and shrimp due to its large surface areas and somewhat chaotic growth nature. Taxophyllum barbari can be a fast grower, especially in higher energy aquariums with plenty of light, CO2 injection and liquid fertilisers. In order to maintain a pleasant appearance, it will require frequent trimming, and offcuts should ideally be siphoned away to avoid them from overtaking areas elsewhere in the aquascape. Dosing a liquid fertiliser will prevent the yellowing of the moss, and a healthy population of shrimp will help keep the moss free from excess nuisance algae. Higher levels of lighting and CO2 injection will promote a more compact growth pattern that is often desirable for many aquascapers. The classic Taxophyllum barbari or Java moss remains one of the hobby's most popular mosses for good reason. Being easy to grow for beginners, but also looking great for more advanced systems, its versatility ensures its place in so many planted tanks across the world.